The one that many Anglophone Cameroonians are determined to make a reality. Cameroon has been rocked by an ongoing political crisis. Those who speak English say they're victims of inequality and discrimination, pointing fingers at the country's Francophone majority. What started as a strike by Anglophone lawyers and teachers has now escalated into a full-blown demand for independence. Our reporters Patrick Fangio and Emmanuel Londe met with some of the key players spearheading the separatist movement. A child's innocent stare through one eye. Fourteen-year-old Aline became a symbol for English-speaking secessionists in Cameroon. She was shot in her father's house on October 1st, the day the Cameroonian separatists proclaimed their republic, called Ambazonia. A proclamation that was severely repressed. I was just sitting down. I was not doing anything. I wanted to go to help me so that I could see what I go back to school again. People should continue praying for me so that I can get well. Aline's family live here in Combo a well-known separatist stronghold in the two Anglophone regions in Cameroon, regions renamed Ambazonia by supporters of the secession. Ambazonia is a virtual country, a ghost state that separatists have been dreaming of for 56 years, a dream that has been resuscitated by activists like 70-year-old Vincent Jumbam. This is an almanac it was gotten in 1955. Kept as a souvenir, the map of the former British Cameroon before being united to French Cameroon in 1961, a territory that the Anglophone separatists of today have claimed as Ambazonia. Their future English-speaking country were their founding fathers that's already got its own flag. This is the flag of the Southern Cameroons. A great flag indeed. I respect it. I have it in all the corners of my own house. Here is one. Here is one. And a good number in my cupboard. It is a symbol of the new country, Amazonia. It is that which gives you one, a sense of patriotism. I am of this nation. You know, that was, was it happening? At home, this independent supporter watches just one television channel 24 hours a day. The Southern Cameroon Broadcasting Corporation, the Ambazonia Channel, declared illegal by the Cameroonian authorities as a secessionist propaganda tool broadcast from abroad. Despite the TV channel and the flag, it's not enough for this elderly activist who even dreams of having an army. We shall have our own army which is going to take care of every other thing else. We, in our communities, we are also ready for any eventuality. We need only direction. We still have La Republic du Cameroon in our territory. It is now left to us to look at all possible ways to get them out of our territory so that we can manage our economy, we can manage our administration, and we can manage the life that is supposed to be us. The name Ambazonia comes from Cameroon's history and geography. The word comes from the banks of the Mungo River, a natural barrier between French and English-speaking Cameroon. Close by lies Ambas Bay, discovered by the British missionary Alfred Sacker in 1858. The territory inspired the name for the fantasy republic of Ambazonia. The future republic plans to establish its capital city here, in Bea, the provincial capital of Cameroon's other Anglophone region. On the streets, dozens of military units and armed police are on patrol, ever since public buildings and security forces have been the target of violent attacks by a new terrorist organisation, according to the authorities, who are determined to track down secessionists. To meet the independence leaders of Ambazonia, you have to leave Cameroon and head to neighbouring English-speaking Nigeria, 
which has become a refuge for Cameroonian activists. Behind the creation of a provisional government in exile, led by Susuku Ayuk David Julius, the self-proclaimed Ambazonian president is the government of Cameroon's public enemy number one. I am the president of the Federal Republic of Ambazonia. We are going to separate. We have restored our independence. We are going to discuss the terms of that separation and then we'll build a wonderful nation that I would invite you in a few short years to come and be witnesses to what we are saying today. He denies accusations by a newspaper in Cameroon of misappropriation of funds of a public company. The computer engineer is organizing the battle for freedom and the birth of Ambazonia, financed largely by the English-speaking Cameroonian diaspora. After lobbying the United Nations and Western diplomats, he isn't ruling out a military armed struggle. En tant que président de la République, tous les options sont sur la table. Y compris l'option militaire. Si c'est une option, oui. Et c'est la lutte pour laquelle je suis prêt à vivre. Et je suis prêt à combattre, je suis prêt à mourir. My president. Ambazonia, a name that evokes more and more tension in English speaking Cameroon. Remember, you can catch up with all of our focus reports on our website, France24.com. Time for the sports roundup.